Look, Wa Walter, we want you with us. You're a class double A grind, but you have the ear of students and faculty members we can't reach. What do you say? I, I say get out and, and stop proselytizing. I've got work to do. You could help us kick off a mass rally that would make Marshall's teeth rattle. Look, I am not an activist. In, in nearly four years, I've signed my name to one civil rights petition. And don't bug me about that commitment, Jazz. I don't want to relate. I don't want to communicate. I just want to be left alone and I want to study. Is that clear? It's clear to me, but I'm coming in anyway. The Lord is your bloody girlfriend. Who cares about the bloody books? That's the old school spirit. I want you to meet your new third floor neighbor, Mike Alden, Walter Arnold. What? No banjo. The party's not complete without a banjo. What do you say, Mike? Welcome to the bullpen. Thanks. And this is... Peter Wicklow. Michael, I second the welcome. Hello. You a transfer student? No, no. How do you happen to be coming in in the middle of a semester? Uh, it's a special permission deal. I, I, I'm helping Dr. Cortland with an experiment. Or a lab technician. Huh? Pete's not happy unless he can uh, stick you with a label. What am I again? A, a class AA grind? In translation, he's hooked on books and has a very heavy schedule. And yeah, they're much too heavy to waste time listening to the voice of rebellion. You are really pathetic. You know that everything I say is absolutely right but you'd rather fall back in a cynical pose than lift a finger to help. Why, Walter? Why? Because you come on like old juggernaut himself, and because I am basically a pacifist, a coward, and a lover. Not necessarily in that order. Yes, but when you know something's wrong, you can at least howl and protest. Baby, I'm not a howler. The most I can summon up is a low growl when my cave is invaded. <laughs> not very impressive, is it? Did Peter tell you how much we need your influence? Forget it. No. Walter, listen to me. Peter's written a blistering editorial for the Medwin Times attacking the demonstration ban. It's going to raise hackles, and we're hoping the controversy will blossom into a mass protest. But we must be able to count on intellectual support. Look, I will say it once more before I sink into sweet apathy. There is no room in my philosophy for mob action. A nice meeting you, Mike. Uh, uh, on your way out, would you uh, throw me that green notebook? 